Shalawam. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone. When I'm learning this truth, you know that are ruling well. Shalawam. To all the Aki and pushing this truth in all sincerity and all honesty. So basically, um, basically, I want to do a, 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 you know, a quick video. You know, um, I was watching a, I was watching a video yesterday. You know, topic of the video I was watching was yesterday. Yeah, I was at work. You know, and it's mainly going into you know, um, not putting the the world over, you know, the truth. You know, and especially for us that are new, you know, that are new in the truth, you know, new to the fact that we're Israelites and new to the um, fact of living, you know, by the way of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which are you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you know, um, being in this truth, man, you know, we cannot let these do these worldly things, you know, get into the way of that, man. You know, we have to um, put away anything, you know, and everything of the world that's going to affect, you know, affect the truth when it comes to our, us, man. You know, um, we need to stop caring about what this world thinks, you know, how this world feel. Because, you know, you know, teaching the truth, man, you know, going out, you know, doing the work of your how about, you know, share, the world will hate you, you know, the world will talk shit. You know, the world will have a lot of negative things to say about you, man. You know? You know, they may call you mad. They may say you're psycho, you're bugged out, whatever. You know, but guess what? Your Haobashi and Shai didn't open up their mind to this truth, man. So guess what? You know, that's their lot. Their lot is meant to be scoffers, man. Because even when um, Yahweh Shai, you know, when Yahweh Shai was on his scene, he had scoffers, man. He had people that hated on him, man. It was it was his own people, man, that that wanted um Yahweh Shai to be killed, man. It was them same ones that was you know um um really really um de desiring his death. It was his own people, and we see that today, man. You know when the men of the Lord go out and teach the word, you know, all you know is 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 our own people that will come against the men of the Lord, man. You know, so we understand this. You know, if Yahweh Shai goes through it, then who are we? You know, Yahweh Shai came and he went through all all of the trials and tribulations, you know. So who are we, man? You know? At the end of the day, man, we have to sacrifice this 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 earth, these earthly things, sacrifice and when I say that I mean sacrifice this vanity. You know, we have to sacrifice all these worldly things for the truth, man. You know, because at the end of the day, man, when Yahweh Shai comes back, this all gonna go go go, man. It's all gonna get destroyed, man. And if if you know if we don't let go of it then guess what we shall be destroyed with it you know so our first precept i'm gonna get is in second corinthians 6 um verses 14 bear with me a second second corinthians 6 this is second corinthians 6 verse 14 it says be he not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? You know, so basically, that's basically going into the fact that you know we may, we may have you know old friends, you know, that that we used to chill with, you know, that we may be in the streets with, you know, doing you know all sorts of wickedness with man. But guess what? You know, now we we you know, coming into the truth, you're meant to, we are meant to be, you know, a changed man. We're meant to be born again. So we should be, we should basically be putting off the old man. You know, so if you had old friends that used to smoke weed and, you know, sell drugs and all of that, you know, guess what? It is not wise to be around those individuals anymore because, you know, they can actually bring you back into that. They can actually choke the truth, man. You know, they can actually choke the truth. They can actually you know, um, bring you back into the world, you know? So it, 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 the best as possible, you know, is to keep yourself away from any, anything and anyone that will, you know, 
bring you back into the world, bring you back into the dark, into the darkness, man. That's what it, the scripture is basically going into, man. Because even me, man, you know, since I came into the truth, and I've only been to been in this truth for like a year, you know, I'm very new in this truth. But since I come into this truth, man, you know, there's a lot of people I stopped chilling with, I stopped hanging around. A lot of people haven't seen me, man. You know, since I stopped smoking weed, I don't go around people that smoke weed. You know, because I don't want to get drawn back into that. You know, I try to the best of my ability, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know, to stay clear of individuals like that. You know? Because at the end of the day, man, the truth is important, man. You know, and those individuals, if they don't repent, they're going to get destroyed. And if, if, if we get dragged back into it, man, we're going to get destroyed along with them, man. You know? Um... Next precept I'm going to get is um, John 15. And I'm going to start from verses 18. I'm going to get verse 18 and 19. Uh, bear with me. Uh, so look here. Uh, that's uh, I'm going to get John 15. Um, verses 18. This is John 15 verse 18. If the world hates you, he know that it hated me before it hated you. So guess what? Us being in the truth, you know, you know, teaching the word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know, your old friends may call you crazy, they may call you mad. Not even just old friends, just like, you know, your own people in general, man. You know, may see you teaching the word or hear what you're about, you know. Or, you know, he's an Israelite, you know, he's a madman or he's bugged out, he, you know, he's lost it. You know, they may hate you, they may talk rubbish, but what did they say? If the world hate you, he know that he hated me before he hate you. And that's Yahweh Shai speaking, man. So if they hate you for doing the work of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know, they basically hate Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Because you're doing the commandments, you're following Yahweh Bashim El Shai's ways. You're doing what the Most High tells you to do, man. So if we, you know, are hated for doing what the Most High tells us to do, and we're sincerely doing it, then guess what? They hate in the most high, and they shall receive their judgment for that, man. You know, verse 19, If he were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. And that's true, man. You know, if we were in the world, you know, if we were still burning weed, selling drugs, doing what we what we used to do, you know, before coming to the truth, they will all love us, man. They will all cherish us, and they will all love us, and they will treat us like good, and like, yeah, you're my bro, you're my this, you're my that. But guess what? But guess what, man? You know, when you decide to follow Yahweh Bashim El Shai's ways, you know, the you know most of these people, even if they don't do it to your face, even if they see you, they say hi, hey, you're right, and and act like everything's cool. But behind your back, they're probably talking a load of shit about you, man. Saying you lost it, you're mad, you're crazy, you know. I had an individual I was speaking to, and um, I could tell that the individual probably thought a lot thought a certain thing about me a lot more than what the individual said but the individual individual said um um i'm basically i'm in a cult you know that's what the individual basically said man oh yeah you're in a cult you know the individual you know this person wanted to know you know what i'm about you know and after telling them you know they they claim that i'm in a cult man you know, so, and that's small compared to what others may say, man. You know, people may call you a terrorist. They may say you're mad. They say you're psycho. You've lost it. You're bugged out. You know, you're in a cult. You know, they may have many things to say about you, man. You know, but guess what? That's because you're not in the world, because you're not doing what they do, man. Because you're different, man. You know, they see, the, 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 if you're sincerely doing the work of your Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, you know, they should see you as different. They shouldn't see you as as the same as them anymore you know so because you're different from them now you know, they, they'll hate you for it man and even if they don't tell you to say it to your face most likely they're saying it to your back you know and even um, when them when you know men of, when the men of the lord the prophets of yahweh shower in the streets you know they get abuse you know even before i started teaching and just used to watch videos i used to see it on the videos man the men of the Lord used to get abuse, left, right, and center, man. And guess what? It was mostly by our own people, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man and woman. It's mostly our own people that will talk shit, man. You know? And it just goes to show, man. 
your scripture says if the world you know basically you because basically because you're not of the world the world hate you man but if you were in the world doing the worldly things they will love you you know but guess what you know we should desire the love of the heavenly father the love of yahweh more than the world because guess what the world can't save us man when destruction comes you know um first john 2 verse 15 i'm gonna get that first john 2 this is um first john 2 verses 15 right it says love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him so you know it says here in first john 2 verse 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world so guess what all the worldly things man you know if if you know if you're coming into this truth and your mind is mainly focused on getting rich honing a mansion as um it's like yeah, as i was watching a, a video yesterday from one of the brothers you know um basically he was making an example saying that if, if if that's your main aim is to get rich and famous and own luxurious cars and money and get a bag of gal and if that's what your main focus is on you know trying to get you know some mad career and you know if that's what your focus is on you know putting that over the word of the lord putting that over the truth you know then guess what you ain't got their love of basically the love of the father is not in you man because your your main priority is to be doing the work of yahweh to be serving yahweh not serving the world man so if your main um aim is to be driving range rovers and getting all these big luxurious cars and whatever you know luxurious cars and all this money and you know trying to become a famous footballer or a famous actor or a famous musician you know over over the truth especially if you know the truth if you know what what the truth is about but you choose to do the holy things then guess what you knowing that you're an israelite ain't enough man because if you're not doing the work of your house and you're still in the world doing the holy things you ain't got the love of the father man you ain't got the love of the heavenly father so i'll read it again it says love not the world neither the things that are in the world so all this vanity, all these vain things, man. If you're loving it over over the truth, if you're putting that over the truth, right? Then guess what? You're going off, man. You know, because guess there's nothing wrong in working, making money. You know, there's nothing wrong. You know, in in, in making money and you know driving a car and all of these things, owning these things. But guess what? If it's your main aim, if it's your heart's desire, more than the truth. I used to be a musician, you know. Um, I was an aspiring musician, you know. I was growing in, I was, I was gaining a little fan base and stuff, you know, going around. I was going to um, different parts of the UK, you know, to perform. You know, I'm based in London, you know, so I used, to, I, I, I've been outside of London to perform as well, you know. Going, I basically been to different cities to perform, you know, and so on and so forth, you know. So. Um, and the thing is, man, you know, it came up, it came a point in time when, you know, I had to stop all of these things to focus solely on the truth, man, you know, so focus solely on your how about, you know, shy, you know, to do the work of your how about, you know, shy. And no, you know, I'm not perfect, you know, but I try to the best of my ability and I pray your how about, you know, shy, you know, keep me on the right path, man. You know, I pray your how about Shemel Shai keeps me on the right path, man. You know, to do the will of, you know, to do his will. You know? Um, yeah, man. So, if I was focusing on that more than doing the work of your how about Shemel Shai, then guess what? I'll be going off. You know? Um, I'm going to get another precept, Luke 16. Verses 26. This is um uh bear with me a second. Uh bear with me. Luke seventeen verses twenty six. Okay, this is Luke seventeen verses twenty six. 
he says and as it was in the day of no so shall it be also in the days of the son of man and that's talking about yahweh shai when yahweh shai returned you know they did eat they drank they married wives they were given in marriage until the day that noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all you know so it basically said how it was in the time of noah when Noah was you know was building the ark you know he was building the ark and prophesying of this great flood you know and people thought people probably thought it was man and it was his own people his own you know hebrew israelite people man they probably thought it was mad crazy they probably thought it was psycho and you know what those people are back today man you know because according to the scriptures you know reincarnation is real you know so those people are back today man back in their lot so it was the same people that was doing that then same people that's scoffing now you know same people that's talking shit now so they were probably talking shit not no no not probably they were definitely talking shit to noah man you know and he was building the ark for years man so people say oh look at him how look how many years and they there ain't been no rain, there ain't been no flood. We've been waiting for this flood for, for how long? So guess what? They were still loving the world, doing, you know, putting the world over the over the you know over the prophecies that, that Noah was giving them, man. You know, so they were eating, they were drinking, they was married, marrying and partying and all of that, you know, not taking heed to the to the words, you know, to the prophecy. And then guess what? Destruction came and destroyed them, man. You know, so if, if if we, you know, that are in this truth, you know, get drew back into the world, we're going to get destroyed with the world, man. Because we're in the last days, man. We're in the last times, man. We ain't got a long left in this place. You know, Luke 17, verse 28, Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, and they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed it all. Right? So, at the same time with Lot, man, you know, everyone was doing their own thing, you know, and it was his stretch. It's, it's so basically, it's going to be the same when Yahweh Shai comes back, man. People are going to be, you know, people for years have been ignoring the words of Yahweh Bashim El Shai doing their own thing, putting the world over the truth, scoffing and talking shit. So, when destruction comes, they're going to get caught up into the destruction and the elect are going to be delivered, man. You know? Um, so, this is, um, uh, bear with me. Yeah, so this is verses um, 30. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff is in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. You know, and this is a good point, man. You know, so it say, when, you know, when Yahweh shall come back, man, you know, when, when we're in times of trouble, man, you know, and, 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 you know, this place is, is catching hell, it's catching fire. You know, guess what? What did he say? We shouldn't think about our earthly possessions, man. You know, we should have, you know, when this, when Yahweh shall come back, man. You know, especially this for you, us in the truth, man. There ain't no thinking about your, your, your Lamborghini that you put parked up, the Range Rover. You know, they ain't thinking about your PlayStation. You know, we ain't thinking about all them Jordans or all them name brand Versace, Louis Gucci, Fendi, whatever you have. We ain't thinking about all those material things, man. You know, you know because it all gonna be destroyed, man. They ain't gonna save you, man. So it says, in that day, he which that sh he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff is in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him not likewise, let him likewise not return back. So when Yahweh shall come back, man, you know, it will be, be so dumb and silly. You know, if, if all you're thinking about is your your money, your your your, your valuable possessions, all your chains, your watches that you have back home, man, they're not thinking about that, man. You know, because guess what? If you start, if, if your mind is, is thinking about that and actually not, um, you know, trying to focus on the important thing, which is, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then guess what? You're going to be destroyed, man, along with your possessions. You know, verse 32, remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. And that's a good point because in the time in Sodom and Gomorrah, man, when, when you know, Lot and his family, you know, was leaving, um, 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 you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, when, when it was getting destroyed, Lot's wife started thinking about all her riches because, you know, they were living a good life, in, 
you know, in Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, they were living a good life. They probably had maids and servants and, you know, they were well off. You know, so Lot's wife was, you know, thinking about all all the things she had back there, man. Thinking about her life there and she was probably missing it, man. And guess what? She got destroyed, man. You know, because her mind wasn't set on the spiritual. Her mind was set on carnal things. And guess what? Especially in these times, we need to focus on being spiritual, man. Not thinking about all these worldly things, about what these people are going to say, about what they're going to think about us. Because at the end of the day, we know through the scriptures that they don't actually hate us. They hate our Bashem and Shai. You know? So screw all of these, you know, trying to get, trying to make it to the top and blow and bust and, you know, get all, trying to be a millionaire and all of that. As I say, it's not wrong, you know, trying to make money, you know, there's wrong, not, not, nothing wrong driving a car or whatever, but it's when we're, we're setting our, our minds, you know, our focus on that over the truth is when we're putting that carnality, you know, above spirituality, that is when, you know, that is when you're going off, man. That is when there's a big, big problem, man. And, and this is mainly for, like, especially... Obviously, it's for everyone that's in the truth. Obviously, I'm new in the truth, so it's, it's mainly for us that are new in the truth, man. Because we actually... I've only been in this truth fully, like, teaching and, you know, fully, fully coming into the truth for, like, maybe a bit over a year now, man. And guess what? We're in the last day, the last moments, man. You see these prophecies that are, are coming to pass in front of our eyes, man. We're in the last moments, man. So we've actually come into the truth in a very hard time because it's going to get a lot harder out here, man. You know? So it, it, it ain't no time to be messing around and playing around, man. This ain't the time to be messing around, you know? So we have to pray to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know, to keep us spiritual, man. And if that's his will, then his will's going to be done, you know? Um, Let's see, I'm going to get... um. One more precept. Second is there's eight. Uh, let's see. Second is just second is just eight. And verses, um, yeah, second is Ezra 8, verses 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. What did he say, man? Many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, man. You know, so guess what? In the latter time, which we are in now, man, you know. If we get caught up in all these bold things, man, and not being spiritual, you know, great miseries shall be full, you know, all, all those, you know, that don't focus on your Bashim or Shai. You know, great miseries. Let's say it again, for many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, man. You know? So guess what? We have to be humble in your Haobashi Shai. Do the work of your Haobashi Shai, man. And screw this world. Screw what they think. Screw these philosophies and these fool's doctrines and all of these vain, you know, vanity, man. Screw all of that, man. Because guess what? That's going to be, you know, that's basically going to be aiding your destruction, man. You know? We should, be, we should be worrying about the kingdom, man. Our kingdom, where we're ruling, man. That's where the real riches are going to be, you know? The real riches that the elect are gonna obtain compared to the riches of this world, this the riches of this world is going is not gonna compare to what the elect are gonna um um obtain to what the the um, the elect are going to possess in the kingdom, man. You know, so screw all of this, man. Verse fifty one. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee, right? So understand this for ourselves, man, and seek out the glory of your Hawashi Melchai. You know, seek out the knowledge and wisdom and the understanding of this truth. You know, seek out these prophecies because they're coming to pass, man. And they're, and they're happening swiftly, man. If we don't understand prophecy, then it's very difficult for one to know what time they we're, we're, we're in. You know, and then boom, Yahushua just come out of nowhere and surprise you, man. You know, because at the end of the day, we don't know when Yahushua is going to come back. We don't know exactly 
you know, when this, when you know, Babylon's gonna be destroyed, when World War Three is going to kick off. But we know what time we're in. We know it's close, you know, because prophecies, you know, have to come to pass before it happens. And we see slowly, 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 prophecies are coming to pass right before our eyes, man. You know. And if you're focusing on the truth, you know, focusing on Yahweh Bashim Al Shai's word, you know, will be, you know, and Yahweh Bashim Al Shai put the spirit spirit upon you to see it, then you will see these prophecies coming to pass. You will see these things. You will understand what time we're in. You know? But guess what? We have to be spiritual, man. We have to stay spiritual. So we have to pray to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai to keep us spiritual, man. Keep us in this truth, man. Because guess what? Any little thing. In the world, man, can drag us away from the truth, can drag us back into the world, man. You know? Hanging around the wrong people can choke it, can can choke the truth, can drag it back into the world. You know, hanging around the wrong people, doing the wrong things, man. Because see, especially since I stopped smoking, man. And just use me as an example, man. Since I stopped smoking, man, I don't go around people that are smoking, man. I don't do it. You know? I don't do it, man. Because guess what? Because even I had a, I had a friend very close friend of mine, you know, an old friend I used to, um, do, when I was doing music, you know, he, you know, he used to probably like, people used to call us a deal because, you know, we always would make songs together and we did music together and we were always doing the role together, going shows together, so on and so forth, you know, and um, I remember the last time, you know, um, he knows he's an Israelite as well, he knows the truth as well, you know, we, we both used to have conversation about these things, but, you know, I decided to change and he didn't. You know, and the last, I remember one time, the last time I spoke to him was, um, I sent him a message about, you know, certain prophecies that were, you know, that were coming to pass and certain signs that was happening. So I was sending him, letting him know that, hey, bro, you know, we still, we still got a chance to repent, man. You know, you know, you know what you need to do, bro. You know, jump, jump on, jump, jump on, jump on the ship or the truth with me, man. Jump on the truth with me. Leave this world, man. You know, and what he replied to me was. Oh, um, I don't see. Basically, long. Basically, paraphrasing what he said was like, I don't see you anymore. I hardly speak to you anymore. Um, you don't link up with me anymore. I want to link my friend, and all you can do is give me one warning and then disappear again. Give me a warning and then disappear. I message man like, bro, you know what I'm on. You know I'm not the same person anymore. Right, you're still doing stuff that I am not trying to get involved in. I'm trying to stay away from stuff that you're still doing, man. You know, he couldn't understand that. He didn't even reply back to the message. I haven't heard from him since. He can't understand that at all. You know, because he's expecting me. You know, at the end of the day, man, you can't be lukewarm, man. You can't be just sticking on fence. You can't be about the truth, but then you're still out there chilling with man that are smoking weed. You know, chilling with man that are having free some gallon. You know, just mixing up in all sorts of um, abominations, all sorts of sinful things that Yahweh Bashim El Shai is against. You're, you're basically, you know, you're going around that every day and then you're coming home, you're making videos and then, you know, a weekend or whatever day you choose, you go camp, you know, to teach out on the highways and the byways. And then during the week, you've gone out to link back your old friend and that's doing all this, those smoking weed and selling drugs and being on the streets and whatever, you know doing music and all of these things, trying to pursue that as a as a thing, putting that over the truth, especially when they know the truth as well, and they, or they know the basic, that they're an Israelite, and they know what they need to do to repent, you know, and they choose not to, man, and then you're still going hanging around them, you know, that can in turn choke the truth from you, that can basically make you fall back into the world, man, you know, and that's a big sacrifice I had to make, you know, for the truth, because Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, Yahweh Shai has made the ultimate sacrifice, you know? So who are we, man? We're nothing compared to Yahweh Shai, and he made the ultimate sacrifice, man. His whole life was dedicated to his ministry, you know? So at the end of the day, man, you know, he, he's seen it, oh, I lost a friend or whatever, whatever. But I'm seeing it as, guess what? Doing the will of Yahweh Shai, you know? If it comes to the point I don't have any friends, then so be it. I hardly, I hardly see anyone anyway. I don't chill with anyone anyway because most people that I know are in the world. So I just stay to myself most of the time. I stay to myself, man. You know? I don't... I, I, I know more people in the world that I know that are in this truth. You know? So I just stay away from everyone. You know? 
most people i just stay away from them man i don't go around my old friends that much anymore not even that much i don't go around my old friends anymore you know especially the ones that were that were out on the streets doing doing whatsoever man doing all sorts of foolishness man you know and that's the sacrifice we have to make that was uh, using me as an example being new in the truth you know at first it's not easy i'm not going to say it's easy but guess what we have to pray for yahweh bashim al shay to give us the strength you know to go through that man and if we be of the elect you know we shall endure to the end you know so that's what i wanted to get my um, get on man that's um, the video i wanted to make i hope it was edifying you know with that i'm going to say all praises to yahweh bashim al shay bashim al kakwadash double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone and learning his truth until next time, Shalom.